Since 1981, Jamaica's political, business, civic, and religious leaders have been gathering in Kingston each year to pray for peace and spiritual guidance. I ask of you fellow Jamaicans, we all have to be agents of change for the better. But the faces of local inner city representatives are never usually seen at the breakfast table among some of society's most influential powers. A lot of people don't know about it either and I don't know why. And when I say it to some people, I'm saying, at the money people, them and whatever, the bigger heads people, them just come together and have breakfast, and that is it. This year, the Gleaner decided to sponsor four residents of some of Kingston's depressed communities to attend the breakfast for their own observations and assessments. I was so shocked when I received that brochure to say how many things that the offering from the prayer breakfast has been doing from within the 1980s. First time I heard about the prayer breakfast was, was at church. A church sister brought up that she went to a prayer breakfast one morning and she said she really like like was an was an eye opener for her to so many things. And for me to be in the room where she sat was an honor. If we weren't then invited guests of the Gleaner, then we probably would not have had the experience to be in something like this. Just to see the leaders coming together and um, discussing about God. It's a God-centered um, function we went to this morning. For Mandela Terrace resident Don Marie Thompson, it was of significance that the faces of community leaders were absent from tables at the Jamaica Pegasus dining room. I don't believe that there, were, there was a proper representativeness. Going forward in future, I believe that the community maybe need to invite more people from the different communities more people from the different groups, more people from the different parishes. I'm not sure what the selection was like, but that's just a recommendation. Maybe if more people were there from the different communities, the different groups, the different um, religion, then these people would care about the message to their people. I must admit that earlier when we went there, um, we were all discussing amongst ourselves where it benefited our community and I said to myself I don't see where my community Olympic Gardens is benefiting from whatever is taking place at this prayer breakfast. I'm not saying that the prayer breakfast itself is not helping communities. I'm just saying I have not yet identified where my community itself is being helped. And the residents agreed that given the roles of community leaders in the process of governance, they too have a role to play in national events like the Leadership Prayer Breakfast. I think the National Prayer Breakfast has been very well accomplished its objectives. We see where our leaders are coming together. We see where our own election time, the green shirt and the orange color shirt hugging each other. So we have very much gone a far away. I really enjoyed the experience of being present among leaders of my country and so forth. And one of the things that I admired specifically is the fact that it was stated that after the prayer breakfast is finished, there is actually follow-up to see what is really taking place, if there are changes that are being made as a result of the prayer breakfast itself.